All right, guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to test your voltage on your alternator, right? A lot of times your battery will die, and if your battery dies, your car is not gonna start, okay? You go to a mechanic, he'll tell you you have a bad alternator. Before you replace that alternator, you might wanna give it a shot, okay? You don't wanna uh, spend 700 bucks, and it was just your battery. Most common, most likely, you're gonna have a bad battery before you replace an uh, alternator, before you get that big bill, all you need to do is have a voltmeter. It's really good and handy to have. You can buy something for 20, 40 bucks. This is expensive look, um, expensive meter. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on DC. So what you would be checking, you would be checking how much voltage is coming from the alternator. So most likely you should have above 13, 13.50, 13.75. 1340, 1355, it could be any number long as it's above 13 voltage, all right? If it's below 13, if it's 12, pretty much you have a bad alternator, but check it at different points, okay? I would check on the terminal, I would check here and also go further, and this alternator is hidden, so you can't get to it. I like to check voltage directly on the alternator. All you do is you put it on a negative here, and you put it on the big cable, the voltage cable coming from the alternator, you put the positive on that, and the meter will give you a voltage, okay? So let's take a look. I'm gonna bring my camera a little bit closer, and we're gonna check this car. This car is dead, it does not start, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this to the side, I'm gonna jump start the car. Another thing is, once I jump start the car, if the, once I take off the jumper box, and the car stays alive with Toyotas, Hondas, and Acuras, and our Hondas, and even the Suzuki, pretty much, that's a sign your alternator is providing good voltage and your battery is bad, okay? But we're gonna check it going further. All right, so let me get my jump box. I'm gonna connect this and I'm gonna crank up the car. All right, so I'm gonna take the jumper box. I'm gonna put it on positive here. And the other side, I'm gonna put it on negative. And I'm gonna go crank the car. Then I'm gonna come back and remove the jump box. There you have it, it started, good sign so far. I'm taking my wolf, uh, jumper box off and the car stays alive. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have this on DC here. All right, that's a DC, DC voltage. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna connect this to my battery here. And voila, guys, look at this. I have 14.50, 49, perfect, perfect. I like that. It's pretty good, looking good. I checked, popped up. I don't even need to check any further. It's good, it's looking good, all right? So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have a problem, send me a message. If you need help, send me a message. There you have it. That's how you're gonna check if your alternate is providing good voltage or not. Should you replace the alternator or not? Sometimes the alternator will fall, fail intermediately, but you can leave it on for a little while. And if the car stays running, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. It took me 30 seconds to check that, all right? All that talking, but the test was only 30 seconds. Thank you, subscribe, and bye-bye.